After covering the unit on exponents, we can go on to binomials, and in particular, multiplying binomials. Binomials are just two terms, and when you're multiplying, you treat it like a dis distribution problem. But think of it as doing distributing twice, like double distribution. So if we look at our first example done here, they give us the term FOIL to know what to do when we have multiplying binomials. FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, last. That means that's the order of what you multiply or distribute if you see it that way. First term is 3x over here, the first term is x over here. Those are the ones I multiply first, 3x and x. I get 3x times x and that is 3x squared. Then the outer or the outside terms, the first one in here is also the outer term, and over here the outer term is the last. 3x times 2, right here, 3x times 2, that should give us 6x. Now, I, in, inner or inside term, the inside term of the first binomial is negative 2, and the inside term for the second binomial is x negative 2 times x. That should give us negative 2x. And then L stands for last. Do the last term, negative 2 and positive 2. Negative 2 times positive 2, negative 4. And afterwards you can clean this up by combining like terms. 6x and negative 2x can give you 4x. Also using the box, taking the two binomials, setting them up like this, where you're going to multiply terms that are diagonally across from each other. For example, I took 3x minus 2 and I put it here. I take x plus 2 and I put it here. And there's no plus here, but it's a positive 2. And I multiply it diagonally across. 3x times x, 3x squared. Negative 2 times x, negative 2x. 3x times 2, 6x. And negative 2 times 2, negative 4. I write down all these separate terms, 3x squared plus 6x minus 2x minus 4, and then simplify, combining these like terms, 6x minus 2x, 4x. Final answer right here. Some practice problems for multiplying binomials. Let's look at 1 and 2 first. They look kind of similar, just different numbers. I'll do 1 with the FOIL and then 1 with the BOX method. First one, let's foil this one. First, x and x. x times x is x squared. Outer, x and 4, that is 4x, positive. And inner, 3 and x, that's positive 3x. And finally, last, 3 and 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Now just combine your like terms. 4x and 3x are 7x. And write plus 12 afterwards is your final answer. Now number 2, let's do this one with the box. x minus 6 on top and then x 5 on the left side. And let's draw a box. Put 4 boxes. You should have 4 terms at the end of this. x times x, x squared. Negative 6 times x, negative 6x. X. x times 5, 5x. I'm just putting the numbers first and then the x. Then negative 6 times 5, negative 30. I write all these four terms down in a horizontal line, x squared minus 6x plus 5x minus 30. I can combine those like terms, negative 6x and positive 5x. That gives us negative x. And I just write the other two terms that I did not combine separate and I have my answer. Let's look at number 5. I'll go ahead and do this one with foiling. First, 3x and 2x, that is 3 times 2, first 6, and then x times x, x squared. Then I do outer, 3x and negative 7. Negative 7 times 3 is negative 21, and don't forget the x. Inner, negative 1 times 2x, negative 2x. And last, negative 7 times negative 1. 
negative 7 times negative 1. Positive 7. Combine the like terms. 6x squared stays the same. Negative 21 and negative 2. That gives us negative 23. And don't forget the x. And then add that additional 7 at the end. Final answer. Now, number 8, when it's written like this with the squared, you're just multiplying that same term, the x plus 4, twice. Once, and the second one, x plus 4. Now, with this, I can do FOIL first, x times x, x squared, x times 4, 4x, x times 4, 4x, that was outer and inner, that was the two steps I just did. And the last, 4 and 4, 4 times 4 is 16, and go ahead and combine like terms, 4x and 4x give you a total of 8x, and don't forget the 16 at the end, final answer. One thing you can do with these type of problems when you're taking one term and you're squaring it, just go ahead and square the first one, the first term that is x, x squared, and then square the second term, 4, put, let's put that on the end here, 4 times 4 is 16, and what you do next is multiply the two terms here, 4 times x, and you get 4x, but that's not it, you just double it afterwards, you do 4 times x and double that, 2 times 4x is 8 x. Another way of doing problems like this where you're taking a term, a binomial, taking a binomial, that's correct, binomial and squaring it, you get this. Same as our original answer from before. Now with number 9, first negative x, negative 4 x squared. Now that is going to be a positive 4 because negative times negative is a positive. And x times x squared is x cubed. Just follow exponent rules, add 1 and 3, or 1 and 2, and get 3. And then you do the outer terms. Negative x, not, not 2, negative x and negative 9. You get positive 9x. Now the inner terms, 2 and negative 4x, you get negative 8 x x squared actually it's negative 8x squared because that's an x squared and the last positive 2 and negative 9 you multiply those you get negative 18 now in this case look at our final answer they have different terms all different terms x cubed here x here x squared and a number we cannot combine any of those we can just leave this as it is More practice problems with multiplying binomials. For these, I'm just going to show you the setup, and you can use your knowledge of multiplying binomials, for either FOIL or box method, to find the answer. First one is area of a rectangle, length and width given. Just write L times W. That is the area. You know L is x plus two. We can substitute x plus two in place of L, and we know w is x plus 10. We can substitute w. We can replace w with x plus 10 and just multiply those, foil it, or use the box method and you should get your answer. 11. Length of a square is 2x minus 3. Since it's a square and it's asking us to find the area, all we need to know is just one side and it's given us that side. You just take that one side and you square it. We take s we know it is equal to 2x minus 3 we can replace s with 2x minus 3 and we square that that really is equal to 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3 go ahead and do that and you'll get your answer next the length of a rectangle is 5 less than 3 times the width let's stop right there find an equation for this length is length equals 5 less 5 less is minus 5 and then 5 less than 3 times with 3w you also need since the problem is asking for find the perimeter 
and area of the rectangle, you need the width. We can go ahead and just say width is W. And then our perimeter formula is perimeter equals 2L plus 2W. And then our area formula is LW. And we substitute in place of W, W is just W, we can leave W alone here, but for the L's, we can go ahead and substitute this 3W minus 5 in both places where L is. And once you do that, you should have a long distribution multiplying polynomial problem.